All right, here we go. Baywatch Hawaii. Still on season one for for a while. I, you know, I can't wait for this whole thing to just end because I I wanted I I obviously spent a lot of money to get the HD versions and stuff, so I at least have to finish it. Okay. Um. See, season 10, episode 12, Path of Least Resistance. Now, this Dawn character is just a troublemaker. Everybody knows that if they've watched me watch that. And I actually forgot about it, to tell you the truth, but you'll remember when it comes up. A seeker from Dawn's past could jeopardize her position on the team when she's getting served with a, a civil suit from the spouse of a deceased lifeguard from whom she was involved in a failed rescue while working as a lifeguard in, in Florida. With JD. <laughs> With JD of all things. JD character. While at the same time JD tries to show off his new inventions for rescue. Such as a double scuba dive fin. Which he could pu push to the first test by rescuing a young boy caught in an outflow el storm. Vent at the uh, mercy of a whirling propeller blade. That's kind of like. They kind of re. The previous real um first Baywatch show. Which I consider this all the same thing. Because they. Put all the same characters. Well, some of them. They kind of copied this idea with the thing propeller that happened in, on in L.A. when they were there. Um, meanwhile, Allie and Jesse look over and make the company of a, make the, uh, the company of a lost boy in front of their lifeguard tell. Also, a lifeguard named Miki Masamoto. Hope I said that right. Joins the team as a switchboard switchboard operator to communicate. To the team in a different area, of the different areas of the beach. This is a six point two out of ten eighty four. Let me just say this first of all. Let's just say that you can't test your equipment and just get it approved. That's what I don't get with this whole this whole idea of. All right, they wanted to have a bunch of people get together to rescue people. Sounds great, but people can't just come up with their own experiments and go uh, go out and use them. There has to be like a real super professional. Like when it comes to scuba diving equipment and all that other stuff. They're professional at being lifeguards. That's it. If there's something wrong with the boat or there's something wrong with the fins or whatever they wear. Or, you know, or um, whatever it might be. That's someone else that has to check that stuff. Alright, the next episode, Liquid Visions. I think this was a kind of a weird episode, but it was pretty good. 6.1 out of 1084. The last one was 6.2 out of 1084. It looks like all the same people are rating these. After a rescue of a man who survived after more than 20 minutes underwater, which I guess that's nearly impossible, um, Dawn and Sean are drawn to the strange special power of the mind over matter theory, which she tries to prove the theory of the mind controlling the body after its functions have shut down to sustain life. Meanwhile, Jesse and... Allie tagged along to help a lonely Kakaya. She's the, um, the Hawaiian woman. I think, yeah. Uh, meet her perfect mate in a so-called training program, which takes turn when during the a boat out on their, their respective dates, the three... Yeah, the, there's a boat when they go out to, to meet dates. And this is where I'm going to... I'll explain this in a second. The three have to rescue a capsized boat in the water of Waikiki. That's where the Beach Boys had one of their, um, yeah, their 25th anniversary. Um, let me just say this. This is where I think Baywatch just, you know, I, I kind of lost a little respect for them. Because I don't mean seeing, I mean, we all love seeing women, women in bathing suits or with uh, practically no clothes on. But th it seemed like a little low to me what they did. It's that you made them take all their clothes and they were out in lingerie and they jumped into the ocean or whatever it was to go save the people. I mean, it just seems like it was a little overboard to me. Like, I, I don't... It, maybe it's just me. It just seemed very overboard. Um, and what didn't, also didn't make sense to me is they kind of waited before they jumped into the water, even after they took most of their clothing off. So, if it's a real emergency, you're going to jump in there. You're not going to take the clothing off and then just sit there and wait and look at each other for like a cup, a minute or two, and then jump into the... It just doesn't make any sense. And this is why this show is never taken seriously. Hasselhoff isn't, hasn't been on the show. Or I should say that's his name in real life. Mitch Buchanan has not been on the show in two straight episodes now. I think this is the part where they take a huge break. And supposedly they make a reference of him getting into a, 
a uh, uh, boat accident or something. I don't think you actually see it, though. He's been off the show. There's no Hobie. We've seen a little of Numi, Newman. I thought he was a great character. I don't know why he... You know what was funny about Newman? The Newman character was great. The problem was is that he was never in the show in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, about halfway through the show, they started putting him on every now and then. He should have been a full-time cast of the TV show. From what I know, he didn't have much acting experience, but he was a lot better than everybody else. <laughs> um, so who are those, So who do we have left? Before I end the video, I keep saying that. Before I end the video, who do we have left from the original cast that was in Season 9? Well, not the original cast, from the last time they were in Baywatch, uh, the regular one. All we have JD and Jesse. Um, and that's it. Nobody else. Gone. And my guess is the only reason why is because they probably had contracts with them and they had to carry them over to the next Baywatch. That's my best guess. I don't think Brooke Burns continues this show to the end. I'll find out for myself. I don't think she goes to the end for a character of Jesse. So my best guess is is that she, she kind of, something happens in season two. All I know is, is that this, this show has been all over the place. It's a 90s show. You get nostalgic value out of it. But this show has been all over the place with the cast. There's too many changes from one cast to another. If they could have just kept a cast for five or six seasons and then switched over, that would have been fine. But when you're sw constantly switching your actors every episode uh, and you trade them off to one to the other and then you switch them completely after two or three seasons, it's no good. How can you follow someone's storyline before you switch them out to replace them with somebody else? I don't understand what the hell they were thinking. And um, now it says, as starting to say, ex executive pro producer David Hasselhoff. What the hell is he thinking? Well, what's going on here? He can't think this was a good idea. Um, the problem, what I think was, is that they didn't want Baywatch to end as as fast as it did. But I think they should have allowed it to happen. I think they should have just asked. They should have pushed for Baywatch, the regular Baywatch, to continue. I mean, if people are gonna watch, the, if people watch Baywatch Hawaii for two seasons before they had to get rid of it, there's gotta way, be a way they could have sponsored the regular show a little longer. I mean, come on. But I have to say, the Baywatch Hawaii is the best HD of the entire set. Usually when you watch a show, and you go further in to, like, you know, where cameras get more advanced and stuff. This show looks like a great Blu-ray release. Excellent. It, this show looks so good, in fact, that it doesn't even look like it was filmed in 2000 or 99. It looks like it was filmed, like, maybe a few years ago. That's how good it looks. People don't believe that. You can't name many shows from back in the day that look as good as this does. That's because it was all filmed with the right stuff. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.